Welcome back. Let's learn how to add an image to our After Effects video. I'm going to go up to the template and I'm going to open Edit Text 2 and Media here. So I'll double click that and now we're going to see two different components here. We're going to see Edit Text 2 here and Replace Media here. Let's go ahead and edit our text first and then we'll add an image that helps us tell the story of what that text is saying. So we'll double click Edit Text 2 here and we need to remember to go to our render HD tab and find the area that we're going to be working on here. And so we found the area that we're going to be working with. So we're going to change our text and it's going to go in here. And when we add an image, it's actually going to go into this black box. So let's go ahead and change the text. So I can see my second one down here is placeholder text. So if I double click that, you'll see that the placeholder text 01 becomes pink. That means we can edit it. All right, and then we'll edit the second section. We'll double click that. All right, so we have our text edited. Let's go back to our render HD, make sure it showed up. Yep, and you can see right there we've got uh, We've got our text and it shows up here. If we go back a little bit, we'll be able to see it a little more clearly. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add an image and we'll put it into this box right here. So I'm going to close out of Edit Text 2 here. And I'm going to go up to Replace Media here. This is where we're going to add our image, but you actually don't want to double click it at this point. What you want to do is first add your image, and you can do that one of two ways. If you're using a Windows operating system, you can just click Control i on your keyboard, and that will do the same thing as if you go up to the File menu, go down to Import, and then Import File. I'm going to find the file that I want. Here we go, game development. So I'll double click that. And now we see we have our game development course.ping image here. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually click on this and drag it into the area titled Replace Media Here. Now, as you see, our Replace Media Here tab automatically opened. And what we have is our image inside of this box. Now, all we have to do is resize and move the image to exactly where we want it. And you're going to see some handles down here in the corners and up top. And that's just going to be used to drag and resize this image. Now what's going to happen a lot of the time is the cursor, if you can see it, is actually set to the text tool. And in order to resize your images, you want to go up to your selection tool, click on that. And now when you click and drag these handles, your image will get bigger. So we'll just go ahead and do that. But I can move it out that way. I can make it taller. I can do all of that stuff with this one corner handle. But of course you can drag the middle handles and squish it down. You can squish it that way. It's all up to you and how you want it to look. So let's leave it right there like that. And it's a little hard to see, but there is actually a little crosshair here. You can grab that and move the entire image around if you would like. So we'll just go ahead and make sure this looks centered. We'll click outside because we're done editing. Now if we go back to our render HD tab, we'll see that our image shows up there. So we'll take a quick little preview of it. And I think it looks very nice. Now one last tip before we go on to our next lesson is when you're actually adding your image to the palette in After Effects, you want to make sure that you highlight replace media here and then go ahead and upload your image. Because if you don't do that, it's actually just going to add the image down below underneath all of this stuff here. And just to keep your video nice and tidy, if you do highlight replace media here and then add your image, it'll actually show up inside of this folder right here, the edit text to and media here folder, just like when I showed you how to upload this image. Not a huge deal, but it is helpful as you create your videos.